I'm Susan Stewart and I teach at Marshall Elementary School. I'm a second grade teacher. I'm in my 13th year here. Using technology in second grade, I think, has made such an impact on their behavior, on their enthusiasm for learning. I started using QR codes in my second grade classroom because I was looking for a way to manage them on the internet. My students are young and I didn't want them to have free reign of websites. I wanted to kind of control where they went. Our teacher tells us that we have these little codes and there's like this quick mark thing and you have to put it in front so it can scan this and it goes to any website you want. Okay. Students are always excited when you introduce new technology and when I told them about the QR codes they're like oh I've seen those before I've seen those on my soda can I've seen them so it was something they were somewhat familiar with and they're becoming more and more familiar with and now that they have used them in class they say oh I saw a QR code when I was at McDonald's yesterday <laughs> and so they're seeing them in their life outside of class but they really like the idea of having QR codes and they, they love it they really do. Oftentimes, I use the QR code to get them to a Google form. And I have a lot of Google forms set up that are kind of um, just little formative quizzes, not really, you know, full-on assessments because we still do our assessments pen and paper. But if we, if I taught a lesson and I just want some data about that particular lesson, I'll make a QR code that takes them to a Google form, and we use that so I can just kind of get a snapshot of how we did on that particular skill. I'm loving Google Forms. We use it for everything. It's actually my print solution at the moment because I don't have these attached to any kind of printer. By getting them to get that text digitally submitted into the form, then over there I was able to create their wordles. That way at least the text was already typed and I have to, didn't have to sit one at a time waiting for them to type. I already had the text, you know, by using the Google Form. Sometimes we just use whatever device is available. So if that means I let them use the stationary computers, sometimes um, I have students I trust to use my cell phone because it has the QR reader, they can go take their quiz. I um, mean, you know, the school has policies about using cell phones in class, but they also know that some of those policies are antiquated. And I've gotten the thumbs up, like, that's fine, whatever device you have available, hey, let's get it in their hands. And here I have a little computer that I carry around in my pocket, let's let them use it. And so. Um, I make sure that everything else is closed, there's nothing else they can access, but there are certain students that they're all, oh, I need a device, and I say, oh, here you go, <laughs> because I trust them. For using QR codes on these computers, I have um, Dell Netbooks, they run Windows. I'm using QuickMark as a QR reader because I hadn't found anything else, and that one was suggested to me. There's a lot of good ones for Apple, but not so many for, <laughs> and Android as well. You can get lots of them for Android, but the quick mark seems to be a good way to get them there quickly without a lot of extra buttons or ads or anything like that. As a technology chair at the school, I teach workshops and I share things just like this, Wordle, Google Forms, using Flickr, photo streams, all kinds of things. And really it's catching on, it's catching on. Not everybody is doing it, but um, I can tell you throughout second grade, everybody uses the QR codes to get the kids online. First grade, probably about half of the first grade is using the QR codes. We just got the kindergartners going to. You know, in and out of every room, it's at you know, people's different levels of um, comfort using technology. I'd say probably about 90% of my teachers here at Marshall are using the QR codes to get the kids online. We all have different access to technology. So depending on what your access is, I know the smart boards and Promethean boards are available just about anywhere you go anymore. As far as students getting their hands onto computers, if, you know, using some of those web-based tools that students can use in class, whether it's one at a time or three at a time. Thankfully, I've had a lot of access to technology so I can get up to 10 or 12 kids on a computer at, at once. But you know, researching some of those web-based tools that are available because if you share that with parents, they can carry it on at home. I really enjoy that we're able to teach lessons and we do the worksheets or whatever the curriculum gives us, but then students can extend their knowledge by going onto the websites that practice the same exact skills.